Hi, Mike here with another Badoski Buccaneers video adventure. This was a morning trip with a good friend of mine, Glenn, and his daughter, Sydney. We hit the water and headed out Perdido Pass looking for bait fish, schooling Spanish, and even put a couple trolling lines in for King Mackerel. The overcast skies and threat of rain kept us from doing any offshore run in my 22-foot blue wave, so we stayed closer to the beach. Despite our best efforts, we only managed a couple of Spanish while trolling. So as one of my backup plans, I headed back to the pass in search of bluefish in hopes of putting a bent rod in their hands before they had to go home. Bluefish are a toothy predator that can be frequently found near inlets and sandbars and often make quite a commotion when feeding on small bait fish near shore. Similar to other fish frequently found at these locations, like Spanish and ladyfish, they're often in large numbers, especially in the spring and fall, and are a good target when trying to keep youngsters and friends occupied with bent rods. Okay, I know some of you anglers may not like bluefish for table fare, but prepared correctly, they are quite tasty. I found if I bleed them when I catch them, it takes some of the strong flavor out of the flesh. You can also try soaking the fillets in salt water to mellow the flavor out. The flesh has a very high oil content, so it's best to cook them fresh, and I wouldn't try storing any in the freezer. I like them best fried with a side of hush puppies. They're also very good smoked. Anyway, as you can see, we dropped in a couple of Clark trolling spoons near the rocks just inside the past and worked towards the bridge, and before too long we were hooked up. Other methods of targeting bluefish include anchoring up near the inlet, or ease up on schooling bait fish they may be feeding on. From the beach, select a good spot at the inlet or on the jetties, or on the beach where there's lots of activity on or near a sandbar, usually around dawn or dusk. You can use a silver spoon, bucktail jig, shrimp, or cut bait to entice a bite. They'll also strike one of my favorite rigs, the bubble rig. They can also be caught after dark on cut bait or a glow jig. I would not try soft plastics, as you would likely lose a lot of them in the process. If in a feeding frenzy, they hit anything in their path, including their hooks. Just be sure you have either a fairly heavy 30 to 60 pound monofilament or steel leader. Like I said, they have lots of sharp teeth and will otherwise cut you off pretty quickly. Bluefish are frequently caught all along the Gulf states during the spring and summer and even fall months, with the fish only retreating south from the northern Gulf during the coldest part of winter, usually during January through March. They're most often caught schooling in the one to three pound range with some much larger fish four pounds and up, usually in much smaller groups or as singles. Many anglers will also use bluefish as bait for other apex predators such as sharks. As of 2014, Alabama has no season or limit on bluefish, but Florida has a 12-inch fork length and 10 per person limit. We had some fun with them and put enough in the box for Glenn and Sydney to take several flies home for dinner. That about wraps it up for this episode of Badonski Buccaneers. We hope you've enjoyed watching and found our video informative as well as entertaining.
If you're in the Orange Beach area, be sure to stop by Sam's Stop and Shop on Canal Road for your fishing equipment, tackle, apparel, and marine fuel. Please like our videos on YouTube. Visit our website at www.bedonskibuccaneers.com. We ask that you fish responsibly and for everyone's safety, practice safe boating. Thanks for watching and have a great day.